Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Yes, it's time to start thinking about it. Fall is right around the corner. So I'm gonna be telling you all the top trends for this fall season or what I think will be the top trends for this fall season. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started. And when I thought about it, we're literally at the beginning of August and fall is like next month, I think. So yeah, like fall is literally right around the corner. We have like one more month of, you know, summer temps and by the time September and you know October gets here, we're gonna start trending back down into the colder weather. So you gotta know what to wear for this fall season, and that's what I'm here to tell you. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started with the fall trends for this year. Okay, so this first trend that I'm gonna be talking about is basically one that was already trendy during the spring, since fall and spring temperatures are basically the same, you know, just basically aligned. But anyway, it's basically gonna be utility brands, and that's gonna be stuff like Dickies, Carthart, and even stuff you get from ASOS and Zara. I know they sell some kind of utility stuff too, where there be like utility jackets that I'm gonna be showing pictures of, and like utility pants, you know, like basically work pants and work jackets. I know. A lot of people wear that to work in, obviously, but since it's, okay, since it's become a trend, you know, like more expensive brands are gonna, well, not more expensive, but other brands are gonna start making it and, you know, increase the value of it. So the prices are probably gonna be going up to those things. A lot of stuff that has become trendy lately, you could have gotten at Walmart like 10 years ago, like Champion and simple stuff like Dickies and, you know, just regular brands like that that really no one cared about 10 years ago other than you know the people that wore them for work but now since they're trendy they're gonna start being picked up you know at other stores like Urban Outfitters and probably ASOS and you know stuff like that so yeah utility whether it be the jacket the pants and some people wear like the whole thing that I had no problem with I've seen some people do it and I like it or you could just wear you know like the jeans or the work pants whatever you want to call it or just the jacket this next one that I'm going to be talking about is actually one of my recent favorites and I've been trying to incorporate it in my style a lot recently even though I haven't really done it. And this is wide leg pants and I know a lot of people have been seeing that lately like it's even popular in like women's fashion and stuff so the men's fashion too. I know Harry Styles is one of the celebrities that has done it a lot but you know wide leg pants where they be from like I think it's COS I don't think you say cost just COS or ASOS and Uniqlo, you know all the regular brands, uh, Zara, they all sell it. Even Levi's, they have some wide leg pants too that you could get from jeans. I mean for jeans, like loose fit jeans or something like that. I'm not sure of a specific number, but just regular loose fit jeans will work. And they basically give you that, you know, wide leg fit. And I know ASOS has a ton of them. They have like different colors that you could get, black, green, like a pinkish type color. They have a lot, but I love wide leg pants and I think they're going to look good, especially when you wear them with a long coat or something like that and that's going to be one of the points I'm going to be talking about later. But yeah, wide leg pants is going to be a big one, I think, for this fall. And this next one is actually a color, it's not really a specific style, but just the color red, I think that's going to be a huge one. And I know red is a color that always pops and when I say red, I mean like the red that pops, not like a burgundy or you know, a wine color or something like that, but actually red whether it be shoes like a pair of boots or pants or a coat i would love a long red coat or even like the long like a i'm not even sure what kind of material you call it i don't know if it's leather like a latex or what some kind of long leather coat or something like that or the wool coat you know just regular any kind of coat or a work jacket just red in general like, I've seen that color a lot, and I think people are going to use that to make it pop, or even a monochromatic outfit. If you want to be a bit more, you know, minimalist in a way, uh, you can do the whole monochromatic thing. But red, I think, will be a big color to wear, especially if you want to make something pop and, you know, have it stand out in your outfit. And I said I was going to be talking about this one in one of the future points, and here it is, trench coats. I love me some trench coats, whether it be like you know a heavy coat or a lightweight coat and especially since it's the fall the temperatures are probably going to be swaying back and forth between the 50s and the 70s so you know a trench coat would be perfect for any you know temperature within that range so a trench coat you know just the plain old tan color would be fine i know they have black ones and white ones and basically every color possible but i'd say just the tan one would do the job and the black one too black would you know 
have a good style to make it look more chic and the tan one well the tan one is very chic too but I love trench coats and especially since they're not too heavy you can wear them in the fall or spring but since we're talking about fall you can wear them in the fall and in the winter you're probably gonna need a bit more heavier of a coat or if you're gonna wear that trench coat probably layer a lot under it but yeah trench coats especially you know I love the long ones that basically go down to your feet those are the best kind of trench coats. I really don't care for the ones that stop like at your thigh or something like that. Get the full length trench coat, not a three quarter length or anything like that. Get the full length trench coat to really pull off that look. And the last trend that I'm going to be talking about is sweater vests. And I know sweater vests are very popular now during the summer and they were during the spring too. But in the fall, you could probably wear sweater vests with just a long sleeve on under it. And whether that long sleeve be a button down or just a regular long sleeve, or if the weather allows, you could just do a short sleeve like how many people do. I know during the summer, a lot of people just, you know, wear nothing under the sweater vest and there's nothing wrong with that. But during the fall, since it's going to get a bit cooler, you could do, like I said, that regular just plain short sleeve t-shirt or a long sleeve or a button down. But anyway, I just think sweater vests are really just going to be still in style and trendy like how they are now. And I'd say get all types of sweater vests. Thrifting is the best kind. You could get literally any style, argyle or knit or, you know, just whatever kind you want. You could get them at the thrift store. So just go thrifting and get those sweater vests and don't buy them because you're going to pay literally triple the price that you could get, you know, for thrift or thrifted sweater vests. So yeah, these are the trends that you all are gonna need to know for this fall. Like I said, these are what I think are gonna be trendy in my opinion, and I'll definitely be wearing all of these that I'm talking about, especially the trench coat one. You know, I love long coats. If you go back and look at my older videos, I just speak highly of long coats. I love them so much, and especially the sweater vest one. Like I said, that's one that I've been obsessed with recently. And the wide leg ones too. I don't have any lightweight. <laughs> white leg fans but I will be getting some in the future so yeah that is all that I have for you guys don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Micah Aiken so you can see all the different outfits that I wear and don't forget to subscribe to my channel like this video and comment down below and tell me which trend you're looking forward to wearing or you will be wearing this fall and I'll see you all next time